the, like the Till Tyron Woodley fight. Well, Till's chance is standing up. Right. That's it. And you know, if I was Tyron, I'd take him to the ground. I mean, Tyron's a far better wrestler, far much much more experience. But like, there's some fights where you're like, man, I, like here's one this weekend: Brian Ortega, Max Holloway. Yeah. Who the fuck knows how that's gonna go? Like I've I've bounced that one around my head and people people have come up to me on the street like hey man who's gonna win this fight this weekend like especially Hawaiians yeah Hawaiians are f- super excited for Max Holloway to win again I mean he's the new B J Penn right man it may be a different level you know, Max Holloway's a motherfucker that's that's one of those fights yeah it's very hard to pick uh, I, was that even the, like it's pretty even it's gotta be I mean let's see what the Vegas odds are I, by the way I love the fact that you can actually gamble. On fights now online, like it's le- it's legal it's basically, legal. right? Yeah. You can kind of do it, right? If you were a fighter, would you bet on yourself? Depending on the state you're in, too, yeah, too much pressure. <laughs> I wouldn't want to think about it <laughs> unless I knew. Unless the guy was a fucking asshole, and he, and he like, <laughs> I'm gonna go smash this dude. <laughs> like, there's just it's no very close. Uh, they're both minus minus 105, minus 125, which would be mm. Holloway as the favorite, slight favorite. That makes sense. Slightly. Yeah, that makes sense. That should be how it is. Slight favorite because he's the champion. Yeah. And you know what's interesting? What Holloway said, That's and he goes, he goes. It's kind of weird when uh, he goes. It's kind of weird when the 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 new thing uh, is uh, older than the current thing. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm younger, man. I'm the fucking champ. I beat Aldo. I beat all these dudes. I'm younger, and yet this guy is the new thing coming up to right. challenge me. It's like motherfucker. I'm the younger fighter. <laughs> It's kind but, of funny. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, we haven't seen we haven't seen something like like Ortega a little bit in um in the featherweight division. Guy submitting like yeah. only submissions off to like the the one with Cub. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I think that was beautiful. Like he readjusted on that guillotine too. And that's that's probably the hardest submission to readjust. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, one hand hanging on, readjusting, yeah. and then still sinking it in against Cub Swan. It's not like it's not like. St- Brandon Bishop or whoever. Right, it's right, Cub right. Swanson. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's like, that's crazy, man. Well, uh, he's a direct lineage, right? He's real Gracie Jiu-Jitsu. He is Henner and Huron. You know, he's come. he comes from Horion. That school, I mean, this is where Brian Ortega comes from. He's direct from those mats. Yeah. And his technique is like razor blade. It's so sharp. It's so sharp and precise and so honed and just through drills and a constant emphasis on proper leverage and position. I mean, there are sticklers to that old style of jiu-jitsu. Like, and some people, there's an unfortunate word that people like to use that sometimes pisses people off. Like Vidi Magalhaes used this to describe Minotauro, and he didn't mean it in a negative way, but he meant the basics. He's like, his jiu-jitsu is very basic. He, and people go, fuck you, my just jiu jitsu is basic. <laughs> yeah. But the basic is like the best. The fundamentals. But these there's guys that have those basics, like Hodge Gracie. His jiu jitsu is he's mostly the basics. He's not doing any crazy De La Hiva shit or anything that you've never seen before. Like, what was that? Bolos. Yeah, he's not doing anything where you never saw it before. Yeah. It's strict, you know, guard pass, smashing on top, triangle, mount, arm triangle, arm bar. Everything he does is classic jiu jitsu, but it's just. So perfect. Everything, the leverage and the weight and the, 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 the emphasis on you know certain positions over others. It's all like basic classic jiu-jitsu. And that's Brian Ortega. Yeah. His jiu-jitsu is just so rock solid fundamentals, you know? He's all about fundamentals, though. I mean, yeah, man. Even his box, he's not I don't believe he's as good a boxer as, as Max, but he's fundamentally sound. Strong and direct with his boxing. I mean, look, look, he, he knocked out Frankie. He knocked out Frankie. He submitted Moicano, who I think is one of the dark horses yeah. in that division. Yeah. Hanato Moicano is a fucking yeah. beast, man. Bro, he's Mike so Brown, good. Mike Brown has nothing but praise for him, man. He's like, that kid is legit. He's he's going to challenge for that title. For I believe sure. that. I believe you know? that. And he's super like respectful and intelligent and like everything about him I like. I love his, uh, his approach, the way he fights. And in that fight, Holloway, or excuse me, Ortega made him shoot because he was beating him standing up, yep. and he shot. And Ortega's like, "Thank you." Clink. <laughs> that guillotine is just a, a death grip. He's just got a vice. Just clamps down on your fucking life. He, yeah, ah! man. Like There's now, no you gotta room. put you to sleep. There's no room. Yeah. There's no room. You're going to sleep or you're going to tap. You're and he's not a big kid. Out. He's yeah. like my size. He's big. Like, he's a big kid. He's big. Max is big too. 
Their Max is huge. Yeah. Max was 185 yeah. when they told him about the 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 Khabib Nurmagomedov fight. The, the the horrible thing about that fight was that he lost all that weight really rapidly for no reason, and then they wound up pulling him out of the fight. Yeah. The, the commission was like, fuck this, you can't fight. And a lot of us at the time were like, why is the commission telling a champion whether or not he can make weight? Let him try to make weight. Get the fuck out of there. You don't know what you're doing. But then you find out after that that like when he was preparing for the, the first fight with Ortega yep. and he was uh, uh, experiencing these weird concussion-like symptoms, symptoms. symptoms, but they said he didn't have a concussion. And then people were saying, no, this is weight loss. This is rapid weight cutting. His body is responding to the fact that he just went through this and now is trying to do it again, and his body is rejecting it. So this is a bunch of theories. There's not, they're not giving us a whole lot of information about exactly what's wrong with him medically or what was wrong. Whether they know it or not, I don't know. Right. But even... Ortega's been saying all week, like, what the fuck was wrong with him? Why not? How come they're not telling us? Like, what if it happens again? Like, Ortega's got to be thinking right now. Here we are today. It's Wednesday. Tomorrow's Thursday. The weigh-in's Friday. Friday. He'll only got a couple of days. Like, we don't know whether or not this is even actually going to happen, right? Like, right. What, what if it gets down to Thursday and Friday, and he's in the, the middle of the weight cut, and he starts blacking out, or he starts experiencing those symptoms again? They pull him out of the card. Moicano's on standby, you know. I did not know that. Yeah, he's on uh, standby for this fight. That yeah, see, and then then it becomes an interim title. It must. It has to. It can't be. They're not going to strip him. But then what happens? I mean, a guy like Max. That I don't know. It's it's one of those situations where it's like if that happens multiple times, like what do you have to do? Can can you continue to? How much longer can you continue to fight at that weight? I don't think he can continue to fight at that weight very much longer because yeah. I think he severely compromises himself getting down to 45. But he's been able to do it because he's a champion. But And I think if you do have a, a re, like a George Lockhart in your corner, a guy that gets you to do it scientifically and then rehydrate yourself scientifically, it can be done. And you can pull it off and 24 hours later you can fight at a very high level. Yeah. But is that the way to go? I mean, your kidneys start breaking down, your body starts getting beat up. I mean... Your organs don't want to get dried out like that. Yeah. Your brain doesn't want to get dried out like that. Your muscles don't want to get dried out like that. There's just no way you perform at your best when you're just at death's door 24 hours ago, and now here you're fighting again. 